Hi, my name is David Brown. I'm a training engineer for Hawk Ridge System. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a little checkbox in the spline tool command called the proportional spline. What this allows me to do is create a profile, like you see here in the screen, um, that, I, that will grow and shrink proportionately. Okay, so basically what I have in this model here is I have a base sketch and if I looked at this base sketch it contains a couple different curves a construction line in fact all of this is construction geometry that I have dimensioned and I use the segment tool to put points sketch points on both of the curves what those allow me to do is they allow me to uh, create reference planes at those locations in my model go ahead and get out of that and that's what I created these sketches on these individual profiles now I created one profile and then using copy paste I pasted those onto the other planes now for right now I've left the last two undone so let's see how I do that if I select one of the sketches and it really doesn't matter which one I'll just sketch uh, select one of the these and I'll press control C on my keyboard control C that adds it to the Windows clipboard, standard Windows convention. And then I select my destination plane and press Control-V. And I'll select the other one, Control-V as well. So I've just literally copied and pasted those sketches onto those existing planes. I'll go ahead and hide the planes for now so they're not visible, don't really need to see them anymore. And if I look down through my sketches here, the last two are underdefined. So I'll go ahead and edit each of those. Go ahead and edit that one. And what I want to do is I want to select one of the endpoints, hold my control key down and select the upper curve and I'll add a Pierce relationship to that. And I'll do the same thing with the bottom one. Add a Pierce relationship. And you can see that that whole profile shrinks accordingly, okay? Go ahead and escape out of that. I'll do that with the last one. Put my control key down, make a Pierce relationship, and do that with the last one here. Okay. Once I'm finished with that, I can escape out of that and exit that sketch. And now I could use this to create a loft. I'll just go ahead and do that really quick here making sure I select the correct objects. And the last one. Then I'll choose some guide curves and input those for the lower and the upper one. Right click on when I'm done and now I have a nice shape. And all I had to do is create that one profile. Let's see how I did that. I'll go ahead and tab over to a sketch I have open here. Now basically I can dissect this and rather than you watching me uh, create a spline, I'll show you how I did this. This is just a simple sketch, single sketch. I'll edit this sketch and we can see as I drag the endpoints, the sketch grows. I'll go swipe for a normal two view here and I can see that that grows and shrinks proportionately. Okay. Now I can undo this whole thing and I'll just show you how I went about doing this. And what I had is I, I had a, uh, a fit spline over there to make sure that the entire profile was smooth. I'll go ahead and delete the one side of it and I'll select this one and turn it back into solid geometry. So basically what I do is I create the spline and I created a, a center line to hold the endpoints of that spline and I added relationships and I manipulated my spline to get the shape that I want. Okay, Just standard working with splines. Once I'm done with that, in order to turn it into a proportional spline, I simply select the spline and then the property manager, way at the bottom, is a tool called proportional and I can go ahead and toggle that. Now notice when I toggle it off um, that gives me control of my control handles but as soon as I select proportional and click in that box it turns it into a proportional spline. Okay, 
I select OK on that. And now if I select on this, it will, it will grow if I, uh, if, I was, if I had my construction geometry uh, fixed in place a little bit more, OK? But it'll slide around. I wanted to leave it underdefined based on the origin on purpose so that it's free to move in my sketch, OK? The next thing I would want to do is go ahead and select both of these and mirror those to the other side. And then since they're separate splines, I'll go ahead and choose my fit spline tool. And I have that on my command manager. And I'll select both of those entities and right click to accept that. And now as I move this up and down, I can see that my profile grows and shrinks accordingly. Okay, And that's how that is allowed to function in my model with the individual sketches that I have on all of those planes. So I can create one proportional spline profile and copy those onto the different planes and then I can loft between those to create this complex shape. All right. That ends this video for today. We took a look at the little checkbox at the bottom of the spline tool property manager called proportional spline. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Hawkridge Systems' David Brown again. Please subscribe to Hawkridge Systems' YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.